Hello, I'm Paul Hollywood. I'm here today at the Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester, and I'm here today to teach people the science of baking in the museum's newly refurbished restaurant. I was baked for the Queen, the Dorchester, I was head baker there for years. And I think one of the best things is, is the smell, and it comes out of the oven. The taste of the bread, you won't, won't find it on the high streets. You have to find these little artisan bakers, so you want to replicate those guys in your oven, and you can. Paul Hollywood's here today, it's nice of him to come down, the artisan baker from uh, Harrods, uh, to show us how to make some scones which we're going to be selling in the coffee shop in the museum going forward. It's been great, the museum's had this redevelopment and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting stuck into everything that's going to be happening over the next uh, year. 500 gram of flour, 10 gram of salt, 12 gram of yeast, 320 ml of water will create a great dough. And now we're starting to get into a proper mass now. The disadvantage with using warm water is that you end up with a, a dough that moves too quickly. And a dough that moves too quickly is a dough that doesn't have flavor. There is an awful lot of science. I mean, I'm actually a microbiologist uh, was my degree, so I understand yeasts a little bit. And uh, the science of getting all of the elements right in order to make that perfectly formed loaf of bread or the uh, lovely hot cross buns, you know, that's important, but it's fun. I'll teach you how to make a basic dough. And once, you, once you've got the feel for this yourselves, you'll know exactly how to make it at home. And you will get the bug, guaranteed. Explaining to people how the science works in a really hands-on fashion is what Mosey's about. So Paul's bringing that to life in a really different way for us, and I think it'll be very exciting and enjoyable. This is strong flour, which means the protein level has to be above 12% to represent a strong bread flour. That is the gluten level, the amount of string that you get when you manipulate it. <laughs> We've always got one, haven't we? Always one. Top tips for making bread. Make sure you, you source a great flour. You want a strong flour with a protein level between 12 and 15%. And you normally buy those in most supermarkets, but just make sure it says on it strong bread flour or just bread flour. Use tepid water, not too warm, because the warmth will kill the yeast. Yeast, use the instant stuff, the powdered stuff that you get in sachets. Don't use the fresh stuff. I used it for years. Now I'm a convert over to the other stuff because it lasts longer and you can buy it and keep it, and keep it in an ambient temperature for years. Use olive oil when you need them when you start making bread because if you use flour, you tend to use too much flour on the table when you need them. That goes into your dough and makes your dough too tight. And lastly, roast and tray in your oven when you're baking bread. Fill it with cold water just before your bread goes in. Create a steam bath and it gives you that look of bread that you're looking for. Enjoy making your bread. <laughs>